Another event that will be taking place this weekend that you won't want to miss is the first Key West Chalk Fest. Artists from across the street will literally be taking their craft to the street and transforming the promenade alongside the seawall at the Truman Waterfront. Now, if you want to keep the arts alive and vibrant down here in the Keys, you might want to consider attending the first future form of the arts. This will be discussing the impact and direction of the arts on our community. John, thank you so much for being with me this morning. Well, Jenna, thanks mm -hmm. for inviting me. Um, we're really excited. The Community Foundation is um, convening this discussion, to, uh, rec which recognizes really the importance of the arts in our community, the, the history of the arts, the contribution that artists and writers have made to what we are today, and obviously also alongside of the art artistic uh, contribution, the financial contribution of the arts to our, uh, to our economy is extraordinarily important. So what we're going to be doing, we've invited um, five folks who are very active in the arts. Uh, you just mentioned Michael Shields, he'll be with us. Uh, Liz Young, who's the chair of the um, Florida Keys Council on the Arts. Mm -hmm. um, the city manager, Bob Vitas, will be with us. Um, Arlo Haskell, who's a poet and also the, uh, the director of the Key West Limit Literary Seminar, will also be with us. And I'm probably forgetting somebody, but it's a not-to-be-missed opportunity to um, listen to their views about where we're going and what we should do uh, to enhance the arts in our community, but also to put your own ideas forward, because mm -hmm. we'll certainly have an opportunity for our uh, audience participation. I think one of the critical things we need to decide in our community is whether we want to be just a community that consumes the arts, and we're already really good at that. Mm -hmm. uh, we have wonderful venues, wonderful plays, uh, tropic cinema, all sorts of art going on. Or do we want to also be a community that encourages the actual creation of art? And that's harder because you have to provide a, an environment where artists and writers can thrive, can live, can afford to live. And as we all know, that's a struggle in this community. And so th those are some of the things we'll be talking about. Mm -hmm. And John, this is open again to anybody in the community who just wants to get involved. Absolutely, or, or just wants to listen in. Uh, we just ask that you um, tell us you're coming because seating is limited. So either email to the Community Foundation, which is cffk.org, mm -hmm. or give them a call at 292-1502 and just say you're coming. 5.30 to 7.30 Monday night at the studios. Okay. And there'll be refreshments. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. <laughs> now, what do you think is going to get accomplished from this forum, John? Well, I mean, in a, in a very practical sense, um, uh, we will summarize the uh, ideas that come forward and sort of publish them. Mm -hmm. um, as you know, there's, um, for the first time ever, the city of Key West has a, a strategic plan that was approved by the City Commission uh, June a year ago. Um, there is a whole section of the strategic plan that's about culture and the arts, and so um, I think one result of this will be to help move the implementation of the strategic plan forward. Uh, Bob Vitas is going to be talking about that. The mm -hmm. city manager sort of owns the strategic plan and the implementation of it. Um, so that's a good foundation on which to build a future for the arts in our community. Um, and it's also going to be interesting to see what other people feel about the balance between creation and consumption of art mm -hmm. and, and where we're going with that. Okay. Now, this is this going to be the only forum of the year, or will there be other forums, John? Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, there will be other forums. This, this will be the first one this winter. Uh, I expect there'll be two or three more on other subjects of interest. Um, I don't think those have been determined yet, but that could include uh, quality of life or the environment. Okay. Um, now, and this is all being, again, hosted by the Community Foundation, which tell us in a brief summary <laughs> what the Community Foundation does. The Community Foundation um, exists to encourage philanthropy and to um, enhance the effectiveness of philanthropy um, and to match philanthropy, philanthropists with needs in our community. And uh, the primary ways that w we do that are through working to um, build the effectiveness of nonprofit organizations. 
Um, our big program is the Leadership Success Academy. Mm -hmm. uh, it's open to board members of nonprofit organizations. It's a five session, um, really intense, but very, very helpful course on everything from how to read a P&L statement to uh, how to conduct an effective meeting. Um, we've <coughs> run this for five years and there are 250 people in the Keys who've been through the program and, and who tell us it's just been amazingly helpful to them in, in um, working in the community. That's starting again in, at the end of January, so mm -hmm. if, <coughs> if you are a board member of a nonprofit organization, you're interested in that, uh, again, give a call to okay. the Community Foundation. Great, and our viewers can see the information up on the bottom of the screen, the website and the phone number, but the main thing is come out this Monday night and Absolutely. support the arts and the direction that it could take in our community. Absolutely. John, thank you for being on the show with me today. Thank you so much, mm -hmm. Jenna, for having me on. And thank you, everybody, for joining me this morning. I hope you have a great weekend, and hopefully you can join me here Tuesday morning at 7 a.m. and back at 8.30 a.m. Take care and have a great rest of your day.